Okay, Robbie. Oh, yes, sir. Show me what I'm supposed to do with him. <laughs> First thing you gotta have is the best tools that you can use for guard. You gotta have 10 snips. You gotta have at least some kind of half decent oh, fillet knife. Oh, yeah, you gotta have at least some kind of half decent fillet knife. The hair is gonna save a little bit. You gotta have a bowie knife or a hatchet. Oh, that's a machete. Well, I'm gonna call it a bowie knife. And then you gotta have pliers. No, that good jazz. <laughs> uh, usually, the way, way I like to start them out is you turn him and get him in all situated. I mean, there's a lot of people do it different ways, though. Some people use a, a sawzall to really do a bunch of them real fast. And they got a little uh, a, a table that's set up to where you pin his nose underneath and it's got a V board. But we don't have a sawzall. No, not, not only that, we don't catch enough guard to really have to go, go through that process. You, usually, a lot of times, I'll start So, what do him I out. do with those? Uh, I, I usually take start him out. His tail. Tail part so you need me to snip him? Yeah, right, right, right up underneath, the, underneath that, into the, right in, there? into the, the, the scales. Right there? Right, into the scales more. Oh, scales? Yeah, kind of get, give me a little place to already. There you go. Oh, oh, yeah, perfect. A little more. Let go? Yep, go up into the scales a little more. Keep going. Hold him still. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, don't cut his pen. I know. Yeah, hold him yeah, still. Yeah. There you go. He won't stay still. Here, you do it. All right. <laughs> I'll do it. Give me a little place to already do the skills. Why you going to have to fast all this? Remember the fast? Oh, mm -hmm. Get back, dog. <laughs> that didn't work, Robbie. Now you're going to machete it. You want a hat all the way to the top of him. You want to start from the back part of him? That's a lot of work. No, it ain't. It, 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 it might be a little bit of work, but I tell you, there's meat in there you got to get. <laughs> you want a hat from here all the way to the top of him. Kind of got to po point downward a little bit. That way here, it'll let me make do it all the way to the top of him. Let me do it. No, because you won't point downward. I will point downward. <laughs> all you got to do is point down. Yeah. Right. Don't worry about getting into the meat a little bit. Point down at him. There you go. And you want to hack all the way up to his head up here. Okay. You're doing good. There you You're go. Doing now good. you do. Ah, <laughs> uh, you do good. That's nasty. No, it ain't. Nastiness. No, it ain't. Look, what's you're messing up. It? You're what, messing what's, up. What's nasty about that? You want to go all the way to his head, head like that? You want to go all the way. I'll hold him. All the way to the top part of it. It's teamwork. Ah, <laughs> you're right. Now, all the way to his Hey, watch where you sling that. You better take a knee off. <laughs> I might. Now what are we missing? You gotta have the ten snips. Go all the way around his head. Like that. You know, go crunch, in. crunch. Uh, you're not getting through this with a knife, so you gotta, you gotta get through this part with a uh, pair of ten snips. You got to use ten snips to get where you're gonna cut at. So you need ten snips to snip around the head. Exactly. Ten okay. snips around anything you want to cut at because the knife ain't gonna do it for you. <laughs> Oh, crunch, crunch, crunch. <laughs> if you want to cut his head off, you got to use ten, 10 snips first. 10 snips to cut the head off. First. first. Then you use a knife. Then you use a knife. Yes, yeah, sir. Now we're good to go. Once you got that, you, you start reaming from the, from the back part of him. You know what I mean? Start your little spot. You want to kind of... You want to kind of... Cut into the more the scale part of it. Aim for the scale part, the, the skin, because of the fact that you don't want to waste a lot of meat. You know what, Robbie? I don't even eat these things. Oh, I do. Everybody will if you, if you do them right. It's nasty. <laughs> but anyway, you take you, 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 it, what I call reaming him out. You got to cut into the aim for the scale part. Kind of slice into it. You, you, you'll feel it when it's doing right. That's nasty. <laughs> don't make that face. I'll be like, Ugh. no, you don't. Oh, Robbie, that's nasty. No, it ain't. This makes me hungry. It don't make you hungry? No, <laughs> definitely doesn't make me hungry. Oh, I'm so thinking. Jeff, this smell, is... smell it though. I'm, I'm, look, it smells just it smells like, like shrimp. It does. It, it don't like, smell it, like nothing except nasty fish. It smells like it smells shrimp. Like fresh water shrimp. It does. Like it smells it. like shrimp. Fresh water shrimp. <laughs> All right. I'm hey, Robbie tried to throw the machete at my knee. 
I did. Great. See it where it landed? He slung it. You got like you got a little sun today, Heather. No. So you're learning how to do this, though, right? Because whenever we catch them, I'll have you skin them. Well, you snip his ass. Okay. <laughs> then you're gonna go with the machete and you go. Okay. Which I did a little bit, so I can know how to do it. Okay. He hasn't let me good. try this part. Did she though. learn anything? He ain't let me try this part though. Yeah, yeah I, I can see. You, I can, don't know her try that. I can see her chopping her fingers uh, yep, off doing that for sure. <clears throat> All right, I'm running to the store. Y'all got this under control? Oh yeah, I got it. All right, good. Heather, learn something. That way you can do ours next time, okay? No, that's what we got rah rah for. <laughs> uh, I don't eat these things, so therefore I do not need to know how to clean these things. <laughs> oh, I love eating them. So therefore I learned how to skin them. <laughs> this Wait. seems to be a long process. Well, no. Oh! <laughs> Watch your fingers. I like to catch them, I don't like to clean them. Oh, eating part's the best part of this. Sound effects. Oh. See, I could do that. Uh, I could do that. Without missing the fingers? Uh, uh, yep. the fingers off. It's just like going down the outside skin. Exactly, that's all you're doing, going down the outside skin. That way you can peel him open like a, uh, like a lobster. Exactly. Same effect. Just a little slower. Or like you do a crawfish tail, where you oh, kill him open. You make me hungry. Shut up. <laughs> you should never point knives at people. <laughs> yeah. Uh, 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 uh. Come out of there, daddy. How to clean a gar Robbie style. Robbie style. You have to become one with the gar. I have to become one with the gar. <laughs> That's meat you're cutting off. I see that. You better leave my meat alone. You better put that back on there. See there, see I put it back. Yeah. Okay. He's getting carried away. <laughs> Slice your meat off. Slice my meat off. Wouldn't it be easier to use this and go? No, it's not easier. See what? <laughs> See that worked well. <laughs> Put that. You're scaring my guard. Shut up, dog. Uh, I want to talk to you about a couple of things. I'll say. Well, you need you to turn around this way and talk to you. No. Yeah, yeah. I want to talk to you a couple, a couple times about uh, a little bit about uh, some, some other things about gar. Also, they are very poisonous. If you see any kind you of you are egg, very dangerous with a knife. <laughs> if you see any kind of eggs inside of a gar, make sure to throw it away because uh, they, they are poisonous. Didn't somebody say a while ago be sure to put them on an ant mound? Well, yeah, anywhere you can, but in your mouth. <laughs> But uh, gar eggs are very poisonous. Make sure to wash the meat very well. Make sure to uh, dispose of any kind of eggs that's inside of these things. Oh, that's so nasty. Oh, no, it ain't. That is perfect. Perfectly if you like nastiness? <laughs> no, perfectly if you like to eat. <laughs> so what are you gonna do with him now? You gotta flip him over and scale it off the back? Oh yeah, I gotta get all the hide off him first. Want me to help? No. <laughs> I can help you, Robbie. <laughs> Some people just don't know what they're looking at. <laughs> so what do you make out of this? I usually make guard patties, guard balls. There's a lot of different ways people do them, but uh, you can kind of grind them together. I mean, you take the meat while, while it is like it is, and, and you take a spoon and you, and you make it kind of like hamburger meat. And I usually like to add about, say, whatever you have, one third of that, potatoes. Whenever I say potatoes, I mean, uh, use a cheese grater to... Like shred it up like hash browns? Well, yeah, you, you use a cheese grater like you do hash browns, you know, you make it. Make your potatoes, uh, soften them up with it, and add one third to whatever kind of meat you're using. And that go from there. Some people like different seasons. What I like in it is just a little piece of sage. Sage. 
Exactly, you gotta have a little bit of faith. Tony? Uh, Tony Creole. Tony Creole. Gotta go Fire. in everything. Yes, sir. If you're from the south, it has to have Tony Creole seasoning. <laughs> gotta have Tony. Uh, I, li I like to use green onions and anything else I really like to use in, in, in it. Salt, pepper, of course. Oh, this is so disgusting. <laughs> No, it isn't. And hence the foot. His <laughs> foot is holding the beak down so he can work with the fish better. You gotta add the foot, man. Put the foot down on See, that's guts. Oh. That's like stomach. Yeah, well, a wingy thing, this needs a meal. So it don't have nothing poison. How you know? It, it don't have none of poison seeds inside of it or anything like that. How you know he's a male? I, I can't really tell that close. <laughs> but. We know that he ain't full of eggs. That's the main thing. Make sure it's not full of eggs. How do you know it's not a male? I mean, not a female. I don't know that. Some of them got two holes, some of them don't got one. But for some reason, we can really, you know. <laughs> and that one, you only seen one hole? Mmm, you look at his holes. I'm not. I'm looking at him whenever he's fried on the plate. You're the one that said he was a male. <laughs> <laughs> reason why, <laughs> you, at this time of year, they're so slap full of eggs. Oh. And this one here don't have none. This is very informative, Robbie. Yeah. I'm so not doing this. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we do that. Robbie's having guard tonight. You know it. So you're snipping away at the part you couldn't get the knife to go through. You left it. Cut that piece off. <laughs> you got plenty up there, right? No, I got, I want all of it. The, want, the tail is better? You like tail? Oh, I will need the tail. You like tail, okay. Uh, I got you. Love it. Snip, snip. You know Snippity, it. snip, snip. I feel I'm not doing nothing here. <laughs> You're learning something, hopefully. Yeah, I'm learning that it's nasty and too much work throws the little fish back. I know. You, you take his ass, bring him on eating. <laughs> you're, you're missing out on like, I don't know, probably, uh, you probably have a couple pounds of meat off of you. At least. Snip, snip. <laughs> yeah. He's cutting the tail off like I originally told you to do. <laughs> you know it. Here, I'll hold it for you. Okay, now they got him removed and everything, take his head off. Now, so that's, that's, that's uh, After I got his, uh, that's his hide right there, what, what is left there. Usually a lot of times, I don't really like to eat the belly meat because that's usually part that they collect fat and things like that. So I'll cut some of it off into the hut. So that's greasy. <laughs> no, that, 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 that's where a lot of the, the toxins or whatever is in the fish. So yeah. like if you was to eat that fatty stuff, it has a real strong, strong, strong fish. Taste. Anything that's got pink, red, or, or fat, yellowish, it, it, it's strong for it. Fatty. Or bloody. That's where people go to laughing at me because I'll be eating like catfish and I'll be like, ugh, this fish tastes fishy. <laughs> oh, blood oh. just squirted everywhere. <laughs> Man, it looked like a horror movie. <laughs> That was nasty, Robbie. <laughs> that looked like a hard movie. <laughs> a lot of times, though, after I get done with this part, sometimes I cheat a little bit, go a little faster, and not, not skin him out this part. But whenever you notice the backbone part of it, you kind of feel it with your, with your fingers, right, like this. And, and, and it, the backbone is so thick and everything, it's kind of hard to cut through with a knife. Watch out, let me see. It's easy. Oh yeah, it. I see it. This is fatty and soft. No. This is like a vein. That's not fat. That's meat. Well, it's fatty like <laughs> soft. But this bro, is like a vine. I mean a vein. Yeah, exactly. Now the 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 gar has such thick bones. Whenever he's this big, it's easy to fillet it because off, you start dog. where his backbone is. You want to you want to kind of do the same way as ramming the skin out. You just ride down the backbone. And usually it comes off pretty pretty easily, you know what I mean? It's go all the way down the backbone, get you a line. You gonna let story. me do the other part? No, I'm gonna let you do this part. No, so, I mean the other <laughs> side of the backbone. There you go. I got you a line. That way started. I can know. All you gotta do is slide it down at the, the backbone. So right? slide down here? Yep, down the backbone. 
and you'll notice it just keep doing that and it eventually get to the end of it. I, I don't know if y'all know what back straps are, that's a guard. You see long okay. back straps. This is easy part. Exactly. Back straps the best part of a fish. Okay, now you can have it. <laughs> <laughs> I helped out a little. Keep doing that till you get to the end of it. Do that till it peels off. Yep, off the bone. You know what? For What's a that? fish, he don't bleed much. No, nah, well, they do bleed a little more in some fish do. Well, Still that's because he's just so big. <laughs> yeah, big fish do bleed more. Now, for a person to understand what I was talking about by raking the meat, whenever I was saying earlier, raking it with a spoon, what, what you're doing whenever you rake it with the spoon is separating the meat from all of the tendons. Like, I have a fillet right here now. Whenever a person takes a spoon, after you clean it, take, take it inside and you clean it real good, and you want to rake it to where, where it's kind of Period or whatever you call it. Anyway, if you, if you want to rake it, you take you rake the meat out, out from all, all the tenants that separate. So it's basically, if you're going to rake cigar, like filet, it's basically like if you was going to scale a brown. Well, you're yeah. just going to scrape exactly until the meat comes off. And whenever you do it, whenever you do it that way, you're separating the meat from all the tenants and stuff. This, 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 uh, this stuff scraped off had no kind of tenants or anything into it. it Softest part of me. So that's pretty much it on how you scale one. That's pretty much it on how you skinny. <laughs> or skinny, scale him. I said scale him. <laughs> yeah, you ain't scaling that one, that's for sure. Definitely got skinny. <laughs> no, because let me tell you, the scales on a gar will slice you up. Yes, sir. And they're very hard. Kind of like the armored truck of the fish world. <laughs> Am I helping you, Robbie? I'm no. trying to hold him up there. <laughs> Watch Get up Springer. there. I'm getting close to you. Watch Springer. It reminds me of something off aliens. Yeah, no, I kind of does look like an alien. <laughs> no, I mean this, what you got going on now. No. Reminds me of that thing you remember on aliens when it comes out of her stomach. Oh. That's what that looks like. No, it don't. It looks like something I'm finna put on my plate. <laughs> something you gonna put in your belly. Yeah, something I'm gonna put in my belly. <laughs> well, that seems pretty uh, stiffy, Robbie. So you need a, what did you call this? I call it a Bowie knife, the, a machete. Bowie or, knife, machete. Or a hatchet that's really sharp. Pliers. Pliers, got yes, that pliers. Ten snips. Ten snips, got yes, that one. And knife. And a fairly sharp knife on the tip part. And just to uh, get back to what I learned, you take the 10 snips, you snip next to the back fin towards the tail. You're going to cut it enough to where you can get your machete in there, work the scale all the way down. Once you do that, you snip around the head. Am I, am I doing it right? Yep. You snip around the head. Once you do that, you're going to take your little knife right there. You're going to go down the scales, just chopping the scales off, or the skin off, basically. Once you get that done, you do what Robbie's doing now. Getting the meat. <laughs> so I've learned a lot, Robbie, thank yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. I think I could do it. It may take me like four hours, but I, I could do it. I, I, I'm hoping that it, showing y'all this, it, it'll, it'll help y'all to understand how to it. Well, maybe what we can do, Robbie, is, uh, being it's so late tonight, I know you ain't gonna eat him tonight. No, I'm gonna cook him tomorrow. We need to do a cooking video so you can show the good people on how, what you do after this point. That, that's, that's a, that would be a really good thing to show everybody. Because a lot of people don't know what to do with gar meat. They don't know what to do with gar meat. I have no earthly idea what to do with gar meat. <laughs> yeah. Get it down, Robbie. Get it down. A lot of nasty sounds involved in cleaning a gar. I have a better sharper knife than I have. That's the, hey, I had a real sharp fillet knife down uh, there. Oh, I should have borrowed it. This one here worked though. 
Yeah, now that you're done. <laughs> now that I'm done. Now that you've been chopping on it for the last 10 minutes. <laughs> oh, but he's done now. Yay! Nose right there is what we're looking for, folks. Two good fine back straps, you might as well think. And the backbone, you, you, can, you can scrape it, but on the belly area, it's got more fat and everything. So that's nasty. You might as well just go ahead and throw I, I, I that away. Throw that part away. That's enough meat right there. I mean, don't fight for the skin on the belly. There it is. And that's it off. how yeah. you prepare your gar Prepare meat. your gar meat. Or should I say skin your gar? I learned a lot, Robbie. Thank you very much. You're very welcome. I hope everybody else likes something.